Time to check weather again. Yeah, let's check in with the birthday boy. <laughs> hey, <laughs> see where I started. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Uh, yeah, looking uh, really hot, really humid for the next couple of days, but we're going to start to see the focus of our weather shifting from the heat and humidity to rainfall, and that's going to be the case over the weekend, but more high heat and humidity on Thursday, so just be ready for that. We're going to add those rain chances in a little bit later, uh, more like uh, tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Really, we're expecting some showers and storms, so uh, that is going to be the case through the weekend. We could be ready for that. Just take a look tomorrow. You see the temperature along with the heat index. We've also got the chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms more widely spread tomorrow than we had this afternoon. We'll see some of those lingering into the evening, but still we may see the heat index uh, in between those showers and storms uh, able to climb up to about 100 with highs in the low 90s. So downtown Chattanooga right now we're looking okay. No problems. 85 degrees. It is muggy. A dew point of 70. It feels like 90 where it's 84 in Cleveland, 79 Athens, 82 in Dalton and it's 85 degrees Chattanooga. But again, that heat index is 90. It's also 90 in Dayton, 89 the heat index in Cleveland. So the muggy meter showing the dew point staying in the 70s. Very muggy air staying with us through the weekend into next week. Uh, even though we're going to have rain and lower temperatures over the weekend, that uh, mugginess is not going to budge an inch. It is going to stay really, really soupy out there. 93 the high today in lo uh, here at uh, Local 3 News in downtown Chattanooga. Got up to 96 though to the east in uh, East Brainerd, 96 in Red Bank, 95 in McDonald, Saudi Daisy, 94, 94 in Trenton and 88 high atop Lookout Mountain, 94 in Somerville, uh, hit 94 in Delano, also 95 Chatsworth, Jasper, 94 and 92 in Dunlap. So our clouds and radar showing some pretty good storms continuing to work their way across Kentucky from Missouri. We're going to see this front eventually sliding southward, and that's where we're going to have some of that rain and thunderstorm activity moving into our area. Uh, this is Thursday afternoon. Again, more widely scattered showers and thunderstorms popping up, uh, dotting the landscape much more than we've had over the past couple of days. And then Thursday night, we we may get a nice drenching of heavy rain and thunderstorms moving through during the late night hours of your Thursday and then overnight Thursday into Friday. Pretty quiet in the morning, but Friday afternoon, very good chance of scattered showers and storms moving through. And as that front becomes somewhat stationary over and just to the south of Chattanooga, we'll keep the chance of showers and storms in there a little bit higher than it has been 50 to 60 percent through the weekend, even into Monday as that uh, front begins to work its way eastward. We will see things clearing out by Tuesday. Rainfall amounts looks like the higher amounts will be to the north. Uh, widespread will get about an inch to an inch and a half, but some of these spots to our north uh, on the up in the Blue Ridge Mountains up on the plateau, we may actually get uh, more than two inches of rain up to two and a half inches in some spots. So warm and muggy uh, overnight will drop down to 76 degrees tomorrow afternoon, 93 and notice those increasing rain chances Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, even into Monday. Of course, the clouds and rain will keep it a little bit cooler, but then as the sun begins to peak back out, we'll get those highs back up to 94 degrees where we have come to know and love them.